What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough, the 2023 edition. Okay, so in our last episode, we took a small tour of uh, Rustboro City, and we ended up winning our very first badge right here, yes, the Stone Badge, bam. Not only that, but we had a Pokemon Evolution with Sage of the Halo getting up to Grovile right here, yes. And, uh, well, let's see, our good old buddy Seablade right here learned a new move, and that is Wing Attack. So, things are progressing, things are looking pretty darn good, guys. So now, in this episode, we have to be the hero yet again, because, well, you guys remember that guy that was about to be ambushed by the Team Uncle guy? Well, they took his goods, and, uh, that, that, that can't be no good right there. Now, before we do anything, let's go right here. Let's go straight to Route 115. There is a little something something that you probably need to get. Or it's probably something that you should have gotten before, you know, the gym battle. And that is this super potion right here. That is a very, very good thing right there. And, uh, well, let's see. How many repels do I have? Oh, crap baskets. I don't think I have repels on me because... Yeah, we're gonna be needing them right here. Let's see. Um, yeah, we got one repel. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. So I got myself three more repels because uh, yeah, we're gonna be yeah we're gonna be going into something here. And well, here is the gentleman. He's like, oh, it's you. You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in the Petalbrook Woods. Help me! I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get my Devon goods back. If I don't, I'm going to get in serious tire out trouble. Oh well. What if I walk away? Well, he won't say anything, but I guess we're gonna have to help him out because, you know, why not? So here we are in Route 116. Now, the reason why I got repels right here, guys, is not because I don't want to battle the Pokemon or anything, it's just... I want to find some secret items right here, make it easy on myself, since there are some spots right here, and... Yeah, not only that, but we're gonna be battling some trainers here, too. So, let's start off with some Sea Blade right now, and take on this guy. My Pokemon rule! Check them out! Okay, alrighty, and, you know, as always, we're gonna be speeding up the battles right here because, well, you know, Youngster Joey doesn't really matter to us, and look at that, it's a Machop! Okay, you know what, we're not gonna speed up this one. Let's go with a Wing Attack, look at this, Wing Attack. Oh, yes. Yeah, I bet you guys are not angry about this Pokemon now, huh? Look at that, okay, so, Sea Blade, Water Gun. For the win! And there you go. Look at that. That's good. That's fantastic. That's great. Awesome. Okay. Let us move on right here. And let's go ahead and see if we can find some secret items right here with the repel. And, well, trainer tips. If you want to stop Pokemon from evolving, press B while trying try to evolve. Yeah, it's a start of Pokemon. Evolution cancel. Yeah. Don't want to do that to our Pokemon. And crap baskets. My bug Pokemon are tough. Let's battle. Okay, alrighty. So here we go, another Pokemon, and here we have Bugcatcher Jose coming out with his Wurmple. So let's speed it up. Wing attack. Oh yeah, we're gonna be earning a lot of points right here. And yes, he thought he had us. Remember Dominic Toretto, guys. And well, let's go ahead and grab this. Found ourselves another repel. And well, let's see. There could be an item right here somewhere. No, I was wrong, and well, let's see, let's go right ahead and start using our newest Pokemon, Sage of the Halo, or Grovile, and talk to her. I study at the school, and I study on the way home, too. Hmm. Okay, alrighty, bring it. School Kid Karen wants the battle, and yeah, she's coming out with a Shroomish. And the good thing is that we learned Fury Cutter, so this is going to be a little bit stronger on the Grass type. On top of that, you know, it's going to progress... It, it, it progresses with power if it makes it and all that crud. And, well, let's see. Again, we're looking for items. You know me. I like I like cool stuff. You know, hidden items and all that stuff. And, well, look at that. A potential double battle right there. And Zigzagoon has grabbed another item. And we found ourselves an escape rope, which is good, I guess. And turn around, turn around, turn around. Come on. Turn around. Damn it. Okay. So, it's a single battle right there. Let's go right ahead and beat this guy quickly. That way we don't have to do single battles all, the, all over the place. And here we have Hiker Clark. Alright. Here we go. Bullet Seed. For the win. And just like that, we have defeated another Pokemon Trainer. 
And fast as possible. There we go. You see that? He was about to see me. Good gravy. And Zigzagoon has gotten another item. And look at that. We found ourselves an Ultra Ball. So again, guys, you don't really have to use them. You don't have to have them on your team for, you know, training purposes. But make sure to get yourselves a Zigzagoon with a pickup. That way, it actually picks up some rare items. Now, before we forget, let's go ahead and boot up a TM. Because... Yes, Zigzagoon can learn it, and it will be useful for this route right here. Crap baskets. Okay, I was a little too late. We'll rock you hard. Alrighty. Let's go, Devin. Bullet Seed. There we go. And coming out with a Geodude. Let's spread the love a little bit. And go with the Water Gun attack. And there we go. Levels 14 is good. Alright. And take on this kid. It's a dead end up, uh, up here. I'm bored. So, can we battle? Sure. Alrighty. Here we go. Taking on Youngster Johnson. And he does have himself a, a grass type Pokemon. So, this is easy. And level 17, here we are. He comes out with a Ludic. A what? A Lotad? He does have a Lotad. And thankfully, we got a flying type attack. So, damn. There we go. See? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, guys. Okay, so let us move on. Talk to this guy. He's like, mm, roar. What's going on? I was digging the tunnel without any tools when some goon ordered me out. That tunnel's filled with Pokemon that react badly to loud noises. They could cause an uproar. That's why we stopped using heavy equipment for tunneling. I'm worried that that goon will do something stupid to startle the Pokemon into an uproar. Oh, okay. So we got an environmentalist, I guess, and well, before we go into that tunnel that he was talking about, let's go ahead and uh, take care of business right here. We got quite a few double battles. Let's go ahead and take advantage of it. And just so you know, I never ha once been bested by anyone at anything. Oh my god. When you lay your eyes on my Pokemon's gorgeous fur, their beauty will render you helpless. Okay, so I kind of it, it kind of sounds we have uh, rich people right here, and oh, this is gonna be a lot of this is gonna be a big uh, big payday right here, I should say. All right, level eight Pokemon, let's go. Speed it up, and uh, well, let's see. Let's go with double with Bullet Seed that, and Wing Attack that, and there we go. See, okay, Bullet Seed that, Wing Attack that, they survive. And there we go. And bully that one. And bam. We have defeated Dawson. And how much money do we get together with these two? And, oh, 3,200. Okay. All right. Let's see what this is. A potion. Okay. All righty. So, let's see. Let's see what we got. I was kind of hoping that... <laughs> I was kind of hoping that what's-his-face uh, Zigzagoon would give me another item. And we, we learn all sorts of things at the trainer school. I want to test things out for real. Let me teach you how strong my adorable Pokemon is. Okay. All right, bring it. So, here we go. Taking on School Kid Jerry and last Janice. And, well, we're going to be going speedy again. So let's go Pursuit and Wing Attack. There we go. And that's how you do it, guys. Okay, alrighty. So we got all these battles done. And now, let's go right ahead and grab these uh, items right here. Cut these things. Make sure, again, make sure to have some cut, uh, a cut technique right here, guys, if you want more experience points. Now, this place is a very good place to train your Pokemon if you want to train them ahead of time for the gym battle. If you have, you know, if you pick the Torchic, this, this would be a good time for you guys to train right here. I know I would. I mean, initially I wanted to play as, you know, I wanted to pick Torchic. But then I thought against it because it was like, okay, there are a lot more things that I could do with a Trico than a, than a Torchic here in the Emerald. Should probably save that Torchic until Alpha Sapphire because, you know, it's one of my favorite games too. I have a lot of favorite games, but, you know, I think Torchic would do well in Alpha Sapphire. Now, Pokemon you could find here. Uh, Whismer, uh, I believe Ninkat is another Pokemon. Uh, Skitty is a Pokemon, and look at this. We found ourselves a Whismer, and, well, I was thinking about capturing it. I don't know why. 
Yeah, I'm gonna run away right here. Like I was saying, you can capture a Whisper right here, guys. A Skitty. And then what else? Then Cat is another Pokemon that you can actually encounter in this in this area. And then let's see. I think Tail is another one. Abra is a Pokemon that you can actually get right here too, if you guys are looking for that guy. And let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this. And here we found ourselves an X Special. Actually, help us with a special attack. And well, talk to this gentleman. He's like, oh, what am I to do? We were on our walk, Pico and I, when we were jumped by an odd thug. The scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Oh, Pico. Oh, wow. He is uh, livid right here. So, let's go inside right here. And here we are in the Rust Turf Tunnel. And there will be an item right here for us. Grab this. Found ourselves a Pokeball. And, well, let us continue right here. What are you com What are you coming? Come and get some, then. Uh, big talk from a guy who talks a lot of, you know what? All right, let's go. Seableed, your fellow Wingle needs your help right here. Grr, Kihal, at all. That house this Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I, I made a getaway in this tunnel to nowhere. Hey, you, so you want to battle me? Yes, I do. Okay, so here we go, guys. Taking on a Team Aqua Grunt. And yes, he is coming out with his Poochiana right here. This should be easy. Let's go straight for a water gun attack right here. And there we go. Water gun. Poochiana not liking it. Let's go right ahead and go straight for a wing attack right here. And there you go. Wing attack does it. Alrighty. And there comes a level 15. And just like that, we have defeated the team off of Grant. He's like, oh, my Korean crime comes to a dead end. Mm-hmm. That's what we do. This is plain not right. The boss told me this would be a slick and easy job to pull. All I had to do was to steal some package from Devon. <laughs> you want it back so badly, take it. And there we go. We get ourselves a Devon Goods. And, well, we saved the Pico, the Wingo. Pico, I am so glad you are safe. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are... Ah, so you're Draven. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by this uh, by the sea near Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico, we should make our way home. And, uh, yeah, that Pico is pretty happy right there. <laughs> okay, so now, something that you guys should see. Unfortunately, we can't cross this area right now because, well, there's some boulders, rock smash, and all that stuff. Yeah, it is going to be a while before you can even go there. I mean, uh, well, not a long time, just a, a while. But this will be a shortcut to Verdant Turf Town and uh, Rustboro City, so just be aware of that. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to go all the way back to the guy that, you know, we helped out. And, uh, well, there's going to be a Pokemon here and there that I'm going to capture. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so I thought about it and, uh, well, I'm convinced just for this moment right here. I'm going to be capturing a Whismur right here. Now, in the Rust Turf Cave, you can actually capture only Whismur ranging from levels 5 to 8 and luckily for us we found ourselves a Pokemon that is at level 8 right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and throw a Pokeball at it because well most of my Pokemon are a little strong and hopefully this Pokemon right here can help us out in the long run now I know many of you guys are like oh this is another interesting uh, selection that you've made why and I'll tell you why, guys. I kind of want to make it a little bit of a challenge going into this uh, this walkthrough right here. Like I said, not all of these Pokemon are going to stay on my team. They're going to be a means to an end and all that crud. And here comes an uproar. Crap, baskets on a crapsicle stick. And uh, they're all a means to an end. Eventually, I'm going to end up with a very, very good team getting into the Pokemon League. These guys are, you know, on for the journey and all that stuff. And bam! We got ourselves Whismur right here. Look at that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this guy's Pokedex entry. So Whismur, the Whisper Pokemon, it cries equal, uh, or its cries equal a jet plane in volume. It inhales through its ear canals. Because of its uh, of this system, 
It can only cry continually, continually without having to catch its breath. Holy crud baskets, okay. So, with that being said, I'm going to try and figure out a good nickname for this Pokemon because, well, yeah. I'm not really good on the spot with the nickname, so I'll be right back with you guys when I find that nickname for that Pokemon. Alrighty guys, so before we check on our newest Pokemon, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Oh, how did you, how did it go? The Devon Goods? You did it! You, you got him back? You really, or, oh wow, wow, I can't even say it right. You really are a great trainer. I know, as a thanks, I'll give you another Great Ball. And well, there we go, we got ourselves another Great Ball right there, and well, Excuse me, please, please come with me. And we cut into the next scene right here. We are in the Devon Corporation's third floor. And of course, the president's office is right here. So he's going to be, you know, talking to the president right here, telling us that, hey, you know, this is the guy that saved my butt and all that stuff. So he's telling us that those Devon goods, he wants us to deliver or he wants us to, you know, he wants us to go to Mr. Uh, or Mr. Briney and all that stuff. And of course, he wants us to wait a second because, well, there is going to be a little bit of a reward waiting for us right here. And he's going to be like, our president would like you to have a word with you. Please come with me. And you got to love this song right here. Please go ahead. All right, so here we are. Mr. Stone is right here. He's like, I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got the word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. I have a favor to ask of you, an amazing or of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to Slateport Shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off uh, at Duford Town? I was hoping that you would deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. And bam, there we go. Got ourselves another letter. Now, you you should know that I am a great president, a very fine president, a bigly president, and all that stuff. I will give you anything you want. So I can never, <laughs> I'd never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. And that's why I want you to have this. And bam, we get ourselves a PokéNav. That device, it's a PokéNav, or it's a Pokémon Navigator, or PokéNav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Duford and Slayport easily. By the way, I've heard the sinister criminals Magma and Aqua, I believe, have been making trouble far and wide. I think it would be best if you rested up before you go on your way. And just like that, he's helped us out. Look at that. Well then, Draven, go with caution and care. Alrighty. So, before we do anything, before you know, we go into another cutscene right here, you guys are wondering what the nickname of the new Pokemon is. I did train him just a little bit, and I did capture myself quite a few Pokemon like, you know, Taylo and Ninkata and all that crud. But say hello to X-Boom right here, because eventually it evolves into Nexploud. Seeing that this Pokemon, you know, booms its way around with uh, noise and all that stuff. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hey Pokemon, come out with a sound type, probably. Here we have X-Boom, the Whismer. Now, it does have the ability Soundproof. Avoid sound-based moves such as, you know, Growl, Roar, uh, Supersonic. I believe that's a sound type move. And then it's Serious Nature right here. Let's see what it looks like when it comes to my stats and all that crud. So, let's see, where are you? I gotta keep a, I, I really have to keep a list of this stuff right here. So, it's serious nature doesn't affect any of its stats or anything when it comes to a contest or anything like that. So, as you guys can see, it is a special attacker, so you can use any kind of special attacks like, you know, flamethrower, uh, ice beam and all that stuff. You can use it for this Pokemon and it, it'll be good and all that crud. I did equip it with the Quick Claw just because, you know, it is slower than most. And, well... It did learn Astonish, so that's another move that, you know, could prove useful. Now, let's see what the moves in contest form looks like. And it's tough, cute, and smart, so I don't know what kind of Pokemon this would be. Anywho, let us get out of this place right here because, well, there is a little bit of something-something that we need to do. Or, that needs to be shown right here. And that is uh, what that uh, Pokenav does. So, let's step outside. And as we step outside, here we have this guy, and he's like, I've been developing an, uh, uh, an added feature for the Pokenav, and it turned out great. Draven, may I see your Pokenav? The one our president gave you. There you go, Draven. 
I added a new feature named the Match Call to your Pokenab. Using the Match Call feature, you can chat with people who have been registered in your Pokenab. And let's see, Draven, our President Stone should be registered in your Pokenab. Test it out. Please give our President a call. And well, we need to do this or it will never let us go. So here's the Pokenab. And before we go into the Match Call, we can see the Pokemon... Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we need to call him. All right, so we'll call him. As you guys can see, we had had 27 battles, guys. Literally 27 battles. And one match call. And so we got to call this guy. That way he can release us from his grasp and all that stuff. Oh, Draven, since you called me, the Pokenab must be working properly. Other people would be registered, so try calling them up too. Good, good. You seem to be quite happy. Hmm, how would I know that? It's because I'm looking down at the, or looking down at you from my office window. <laughs> See you again. Okay. Now we can look at anything, oh wow, we can't look at anything else, seriously? Okay. Okay, I better get back to work. Please take care, Draven. Alright, so, let's go right ahead and take a look at the other subject, or the things right here. So here we have the Hoenn map. And you can actually close up onto the different places right here. As you can see, it shows the type of stuff that you can actually find right here in Rustboro from top to bottom. It has different colors to actually, you know, you can to, to locate different places and all that stuff. And, uh, well, let's see. It doesn't show anything from the places that we haven't visited. So all of this information will be filling up uh, sooner rather than later. And then here we have another uh, detail right here called the condition. And this right here sh shows the condition of your Pokemon. It has, what, five conditions right here. Cool, beauty, cute, smart, and tough. And believe it or not, one of these uh, conditions right here would or will be a prerequisite for one Pokemon to evolve. That is like a new thing right here. And right now we have nobody with no cool or anything. And it actually shows every single Pokemon that we've captured. So as you guys can see, yeah, I got plenty of Pokemon right here. And it has a scale and yeah, we got nothing. Literally nothing. So, we're gonna get the heck out of here. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let's see. In the next one, we're going to be going straight to Doofer, taking care of business right down there, and quite possibly battling uh, the Doofer gym leader. So, thank you guys again for watching. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the heart button's right there. Yes, you know, you'll be able to see some stuff right there. And, uh, yeah. In the next episode, we will be having a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, I, I feel like a trade is coming soon, so keep an eye out for that too, guys. So, thank you guys again for watching, I'll see you guys next time.